question six, each of these diagrams is divided into equal parts. Some of the parts are shaded. It says, write the letters of all the diagrams that have exactly one half shaded. Now, this question is obviously all about fractions of shaded shapes, but it's also requiring some knowledge of equivalent fractions, which we will talk about in a moment. So, let's first of all see if we can figure out which what fraction of each shape is shaded. So, shape A, there are eight parts altogether if you count them, and three of them are shaded. So that is 3 out of 8. Now we can't actually simplify 3 out of 8 because there is no number other than 1 that we can divide both of these by. And there's no point dividing by 1 because if you do that, 3 divided by 1 is 3, 8 divided by 1 is 8. So you'd still be left with 3 8. So that wouldn't help you at all. So we won't bother dividing by 1. Let's have a look at shape B. Shape B has got nine parts all together, and there is one, two, three shaded. So that's three out of nine. Now you can actually divide both of these by something bigger than one. You can divide both of them by three, because three and nine are both in the three times table. And that will give you an equivalent fraction, which is why I put an equal sign there. So threes into three goes once, and threes into nine goes three times. So 3 ninths is actually equivalent to 1 third. Let's see what we can do with shape C. Shape C has got 6 parts all together, and there's 1, 2, 3 shaded. So that's 3 out of 6. Now 3 out of 6, 3 and 6 are both again in the 3 times table, so we can make an equivalent fraction by dividing both by 3. 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 6 goes twice. So 3 out of 6 is a half. So we were actually asked about a half shaded is. So 3 out of 6 is a half shaded. So shape C, we will definitely have to write down in a moment. Let's check shape D. Shape D has got 5 pieces with 3 shaded. So that's 3 out of 5. Now, 3 out of 5, we can't simplify because we can only do divide 3 and 5 by 1. So we wouldn't get anything else other than 3 out of 5. But also, it's worth noting that actually half of 5 would be 2.5 and 3 is more than that so 3 is going to be more than a half of 5 so 3 out of 5 is with more than a half because for that to be a half it would have to be 2.5 out of 5 and 3 is more than that so D is going to be more than a half so we're not going to take D E has got four pieces and two of them are shaded so it's two out of a possible four now both two and four will divide by two so we can make an equivalent fraction so two into two goes once and two into four goes twice so two quarters is the same as a half so we can also tick shape E so the two letters that work to have exactly a half shaded are C and E. So that's what we need to write on this answer space here, C and E. There's a second part of this question, which of the diagrams has exactly one third shaded? Well, if you look back, you can see that we've already worked this out. We showed that three ninths or three out of nine does simplify to be one third. So shape B, works for the second part of the question and that's the only one because this is 3 eighths so that doesn't work this is a half this is 3 fifths and this is a half so the only one that works is shape B so shape B is the one that we need to write in there